Okay, Year 7, everybody's Christmas tree pack should contain the following items. 1 battery holder, 8 AA batteries, 18 LED lights, 6 green, 6 red, 6 yellow, 3 transistors, they're the little black uh, electronic components on the right. You should have 6 resistors, 3 1K and 3 120. The 1K have the yellow cardboard on the end and the 120 have the brown cardboard on the end. Your transistors are here. You should have three of these. You should also have four nuts and um, bolts. These will be used to co connect your wires to the micro bit, along with these spade terminals. One blue one and three red. Please check that your kit contains each of these items. You will also need your laser cut Christmas tree. This, all of these components should be kept in your plastic tub. Be very careful not to lose any of the components as they are expensive and we only have enough for everyone to have exactly what they need. Okay, this is our circuit diagram. This is what we're trying to achieve for our microbit Christmas tree. You can see on the diagram that the 12 volt battery, which can, is, consists of the eight one and a half volt AA batteries. And you can see there where I've put the red LED, the symbol to represent your LED in the circuit. We will have three sets of series LEDs and these will run in parallel to each other. Now, these six LEDs for each set need to be connected to a 120 ohm resistor, which you can see here, which is then connected to a transmitter. The transmitters, if you remember from your pack, look like this. It is very important that you get them in the right order, base, collector, emitter, when you're connecting them to your circuit. The flat side has the base in the center with the collector on the left and the emitter on the right. Every set of six LED lights must go to a transmitter, which then connects with a 1K resistor to the micro bit one to port zero, one to port one, and one to port three. The transmitter then must go to ground. Each set of lights goes to ground. You'll also notice that the battery pack also goes to ground. Now the ground is on your micro bit. You can see here on your micro bit, ground is on the far right. You can see zero, one, and two. These are the ports that you will connect your LED lights to. If you get stuck throughout the process of creating your tree, you need to come back to this diagram and make sure that you are putting your circuit together correctly. Okay, so the first step that we need to do is glue our Christmas tree together so that it doesn't slip and slide. I'm just gonna use our hot glue guns that we used for our tiny houses to glue our tree together. Okay, sliding your tree together with the glue in place, it will now be more stable for you to connect your LEDs onto your Christmas tree. Remove any excess glue from the sides of your tree. Okay, after gluing your tree together, set it aside to dry. You then need to select six LEDs to be your first set of series for your micro bit tree. I have selected two yellow, two green, two red, but you can change depending on what you would like. Now, each LED has two spikes coming off it. One is slightly longer than the other. The slightly longer one is the positive side of the LED. The negative side, which is slightly shorter, if you look closely at the actual LED, has a flat face that you can feel with your finger. So the negative side has a flat face and the positive side has the slightly longer spike coming out of it. This is important when we're connecting our lights together because we need to connect positive to negative and make sure that the electrons flow from the positive side to the negative side. Okay, I'm now going to connect my first LED to my Christmas tree. I need to bend out the wires from the LED, remembering which one is positive and which one is negative. 
I'm then going to use my hot, hot glue gun to connect the LED to the tree. Just a little bit of glue will be sufficient to apply the LED to the tree. You then need to do this for your six lights, keeping in mind always which side is positive and which side is negative because when you go to connect them together, you're going to need to connect positive to negative in each case. You will also have additional wire for soldering your lights together so that you can branch across the sides of the tree. They do not need to all be in one section of the tree. They can go across the tree, up and down. The design that you choose is up to you. To connect your LEDs together, you have different colored wires. For your first set of series, you can use the red wire there is white wire for your second set and there is yellow wire for your third set. Use the black wire to connect all of your series lights to ground on the micro bit. Black is for ground. Red, white and yellow are for your three separate circuits. Okay, our next step after we've glued all of our LED lights on for our first series set of LEDs is to connect the lights together. We do this using our soldering iron and our solder. You have two different scenarios. I have put two LEDs here close together where I just need to use a little bit of solder to connect the negative and the positive sides of the LED together. You need to melt just a little bit of solder on the tip of your soldering iron Once you have the melted solder, you need to connect, put that onto the connection between the two LEDs and remove the soldering iron. The solder will then cool and you now have a metal connection between the two LEDs allowing electrons to flow. The other scenario you will have is where you have your two LEDs slightly separated. In order to connect these, you will need to take a small piece of wire Remembering that if you're using red, that's for your first set of series. You'll use white for your second and yellow for your third. We put the piece of wire between our two lights and we will then need to do the same process of putting a little bit of solder onto the tip of our soldering iron and connecting our wire to our LEDs on either end. Be very careful of the soldering iron, it is very hot. You need to make sure you have sufficient solder that the wires do connect, otherwise the electrons will not be able to flow. Okay, so you should by now have soldered each of your lights in series together from your start light all the way through your six lights to your last light. At the last light, you need to solder, and this should be the negative side. The negative side should connect to your 120 ohm resistor, which then should connect to your transistor with the collector left-hand side soldered to the resistor. The base of the transistor then needs to be connected to the 1K resistor. This resistor will connect to port zero on your micro bit. You use one of your red spade terminals with your nut and bolt to connect to the micro bit as seen here. Uh, the emitter of the transistor needs a black cable connected to it. This will be connected with the blue spade terminal to the ground on your micro bit. You will also connect your battery pack, the black side to the ground of your micro bit to complete the circuit. The red cable will need to be connected to the first light on the positive side to 
complete the circuit. Okay, Year 7, you should have glued your lights on, soldered them together, and attached your transistors and resistors. Now, the power pack needs to be connected to your tree via the red positive cable to your first LED. It must go into the LEDs via the positive side and then connect, your LED should be connected negative to positive, negative to positive across your tree. Okay, your last LED should be connected to the 120 ohm resistor, which is then connected to the transistor. Now, the 120 ohm resistor goes into the transistor on the left hand side, looking at the flat surface of the transistor. The base of the transistor is connected to the 1K resistor, which then follows a red cable to the micro bit port zero. This is where it will get the information for turning on and off. The right hand side of your transistor, which is the emitter, should be connected to a black cable which then goes to the ground on the micro bit. Okay, the ground is also connected to your battery pack via the black cable. Okay, so you have two cables going into the ground at this point. Once you have this, you then need to program your micro bit to turn port zero on and off. I have a simple code here where it turns port zero on and off with a pause of 500 milliseconds between. You can see here on the simulator that it's turning on and off at port zero. Okay, I have loaded my Christmas light program onto my micro bit, and you can see here that my LED lights are flashing on and off with a 500 millisecond pause between it. This is one of my six light series that will make up my Christmas tree. You need to now go ahead and repeat this process for port one and port two on your micro bit. Key things to remember is that you will create a short circuit if you have any metal components overlapping. I have made a very difficult job for myself by spreading my lights out around the tree. You may wish to keep each of your series of six lights close together so that they do not overlap. Any overlapping will cause a short circuit which will then result in your tree not working. Okay, my last tip for you when you're creating your Christmas tree is to use electric, electrical tape to cover any exposed metal components between two wires. This way you ensure that should your wires overlap, there won't be any short circuits. The electrical tape acts as an insulator and will create a barrier preventing short circuits in your Christmas tree. Any short circuits that are created will prevent your tree from working correctly. Have fun and enjoy creating different light patterns using your micro bit programming.